In this week's Missing series, the last communications from a 21-year-old mother who vanished four years ago. News Nation has exclusively obtained screenshots of these messages, and we're going to share them with you. For the first time, you're going to see the messages Jessica Van Sant Dietzel sent, but no one has been able to decipher the messages in full, along with a newly revealed notebook. Just some of the evidence Jessica's mother says she has turned over to police in her daughter's case in Albany, Georgia. And now as she marks the anniversary of her daughter's disappearance, she hopes that revealing some of this information will lead to answers and finding out what happened to Jessica. She said beautiful. Night to mama, beautiful. After four years, the sight of a special photo still brings tears. For the mother of Jessica Van Sant Dietzel and for Jessica's daughter, another candlelight vigil means another year without answers. It's ambiguous grief. It's isolating. It's horrible because time keeps going, life keeps going on, and you're just stuck in this place of knowing what you're living with. You just, you just lose your person and then you go to get help. And it seems like nobody really is interested. And then you just have to live life every day as life keeps going, it don't stop. <laughs> Christina Johnson's world stopped February 18th, 2020, the last time anyone saw or heard from her 21-year-old daughter. Investigators say Jessica was at this motel in Albany, Georgia, when she logged into her Facebook Messenger using someone else's phone. She sent these last messages, seen here on News Nation for the first time, asking a friend to call her and saying, I know I'm in too deep. Police say the phone belonged to this man, Gary Potter. It's unclear how Jessica knew Potter, but witnesses say the two were also spotted together at Cowboy Bill's bar, and investigators believe Potter offered Jessica a ride. They knew that she had been around him, and he said he did not know her. She had not used his phone, and she had not been in his truck. Lee County Sheriff deputies executed multiple search warrants at Potter's property. They seized his truck and confirm finding a hair inside, but won't say if tests show it could be Jessica's. Jessica's mother believes something happened that night, either at the motel or nearby at a home where drug activity was suspected. They gave her something. I think they overdosed her. They did something to her. A theory bolstered by a tip to a sheriff's deputy. A confidential informant told him that her body was in a deep freezer and pit out there at that old landfill. But she says instead of going to the old site, the informant named on Maple Avenue, searchers went to the wrong landfill, focusing on the newer Maple Hill facility. They didn't get no cadaver dogs over there. They didn't look in the freezers. They dropped the ball. They didn't. Jessica's mother says she had been frustrated with Albany police's response from the start. Oh, well, you know what? She'll be back. You know what? Don't do people like that, man. If we come to the police, we know that our person's missing. She says she gave evidence to investigators, like one of Jessica's notebooks, found in a parking lot six months after her disappearance, in pristine condition. Unscathed, unweathered. All this stuff is not damaged. This stuff had not been sitting there. It had just been put out there. And a phone that belonged to Jessica's estranged husband, containing texts from the night she disappeared, asking, you alive. I gave that evidence over to an investigator. And he didn't even, he didn't even book it into evidence. Both the Albany Police and Lee County Sheriff's Office declined to do an on-camera interview for our story. As for Christine Johnson, she's now focusing her pleas for justice toward a higher power. Lord God, we just pray for you to bring her to us, and we pray for answers. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.